dear students now i am going to explain about solar cell experiment so aim of this experiment is to study the vi characteristics of solar cell so here also vi is voltage versus current so we are going to measure the voltage as well as current in this experiment apparatus required for this experiment is solar cell characteristics board which consists of voltmeter and ammeter solar cell incandescent bulb and then patch cards so these are the apparatus required so next we will discuss about the circuit diagram for this experiment so now see the circuit diagram this is the incandescent bulb for the, in front of this incandescent bulb we have to keep this solar cell so solar cell is the pn junction diode only uh, that's what i have mentioned this symbol okay and then a should be that is ammeter should be connected in series and voltmeter should be always parallel to the solar cell okay and then the load resistance is connected like this so here in this experiment there is no biasing externally we are not giving any voltage to the solar cell so this part we have to remember for solar cell no biasing or zero biasing anything we can use no bias or zero bias what is the meaning of biasing no voltage no external voltage is given okay so this is the solar cell diagram so here current will be measured in milli ampere and voltage will be measured in milli volt right so this is what we are going to do now let us see the tabular column for this so this is the tabular column so in in the in the experiment we are going to measure the current and voltage simultaneously later we can calculate the power so power is equal to voltage into current here the unit is milli ampere here the unit is milli volt and then power will be micro watt right let us get into the lab to do this experiment so now this is the solar cell this is the solar cell okay so here the solar cell is there in back side of the solar cell we have the connection positive and a negative okay and then this is the solar cell characteristic apparatus solar cell characteristics apparatus board and here voltmeter milli volt they mentioned so this is the voltmeter and this is the milli ampere current so voltage versus current we are going to measure in this experiment and then we need the patch cards two patch cards only we need here and the next one is incandescent bulb so this is the incandescent bulb so these are the apparatus required for this experiment let me show how to give the connection now so now in this board that means in this solar cell we have positive negative and here in this board they have mentioned solar cell positive negative so positive to positive negative to negative so take this patch card red color positive to positive of this solar cell and a negative and a negative of the solar cell that's it the connection remaining connection everything i already given in this board so this is what we are going to key in front of this incandescent bulb now the bulb is glowing so here we kept the solar cell in front of this bulb and then first we have to start this experiment this regulator button is there no it should be towards sc sc is nothing but short circuit current short circuit so during the time the current will be maximum and the voltage will be minimum so now we will start how to take the values of this see now this is the current actually first we have to note down the unit from the board so here current is measured in milli ampere and the voltage is measured in milli volt so now during this the short circuit the current is maximum 20 and the voltmeter value is 100 that i have noted the next step is adjust this regulator knob for each and every resistance value given in this board. For example, first we have to start the experiment from short circuit, right? Next step is rotate this regulator knob towards 10 ohm and then what is the voltage and the current no doubt next 22 ohm and then 47 ohm 56 ohm and then 68 like that each and every resistance value note down the corresponding voltage as well as current finally we will reach up to 1k so 1k is nothing but which is open circuit voltage okay right side is short circuit and the left side will be the open circuit so we have to take the values from short circuit to 1 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm is equivalent to the open circuit okay so already i have taken the values let me show the values now 
after finishing the experiment we have noted the values of current and voltage so current starts from 20 17 like that and then finally it reaches zero and the voltage starts from 100 and then it reaches up to 480 okay so now by multiplying this current and voltage we used to get the power value so that also we can note down in this tabular column next we have to draw the graph by using this values so how to draw the graph so now take this graph so x axis and this is y axis x axis we have to take the voltage so voltage in millivolt and then this is current in milliampere right so here scale x axis one unit is equal to already we, we have discussed 100 120 like that so that our wish only so i am taking 50 millivolt okay and then y axis one unit is equal to one milliampere like that we have to consider so this is zero and here it will be 50 100 150 like that it is keep on increasing up to 500 right it is increasing in this way and then here 1 milliampere 2 3 like that it is increasing up to 20 right so now first value is 20 and then 100 like we'll get the graph like this okay so now start from here and then just join this okay so now we will get graph like this so after drawing graph what are the values we are going to get from this listen carefully so this is maximum current so that should be mentioned is isc isc is the maximum current and then that is short circuit current and this is the voltage so this is voc voc is the open circuit voltage so for example it is around 480 right so now here we have to note down isc is equal to how much in milliampere and then voc is equal to how much in millivolt after that now you see this will be the maximum power point okay so here this point i am choosing and here i am writing mpp what is mpp maximum power point so now draw the straight line here from this point and draw straight away here so this is voltage at maximum power okay and then this point is current at maximum power so mpp is equal to vmp into imp so in this way we have to calculate the mpp value so note down that also mpp is equal to vmp into imp by multiplying this thing we can get the maximum power its unit is micro watt right next one is we have to find out the fill factor so what is the formula for fill factor fill factor is equal to mpp divided by voc into isc so by multiplying so that we will get the fill factor also so these are the things we are going to get in this experiment so finally we have to write down the result so the result the vi characteristics of the solar cell are studied and what are the things we determined voc isc mpp and then fill factor so in this way you have to write your result for your better understanding i will attach the original graph for you so please go through that if you have any doubt regarding this experiment you can ask me in the comment box thank you everyone